Welcome back to SK Hobbies AZ and I am Stitch and on this episode we're doing part three of the ultimate basher build on the Outcast 6S and you're going to want to stay tuned for this. All right, well, welcome back. I have a cameraman today. Ashton's behind the camera and he's going to film me for this. We're going to be talking about this ultimate basher build and what we, uh, what it took to get this done. Now, remember, uh, in part two, I talked about the shell. So, uh, yeah, we did get a new shell for this, but the originally this came as a 10th anniversary edition, um, outcast success. And I'm not going to show you the, the old shell to uh, this episode, but what we did is slowly over the last year, year or so, we started upgrading this bad boy. And I decided we wanted to do an ultimate upgrade, and that's what we did. What I have is I have a complete parts breakdown right here, and we're going to put a little parts breakdown up on the side. It'll appear somewhere over here, uh, showing you guys what we're looking at. But... With that being said, we basically went to four different places to buy parts. We bought from A-Main Hobbies, we bought from Jenny's RC, we bought from M2C Racing, and then we got some stuff from Basher Queen. Now, the stuff from Basher Queen, they don't have a website. You got to go to eBay for that. All three of these uh, places we went to to purchase these parts, we're going to put links down in the description, and I'm actually going to put a link to each one of the parts we purchased. Uh, down below so you guys can see it so from a main it was simple we only needed one thing from them and that was the servo we bought Re uh, reefs raw 500 servo from a main which was about 139.99 you'll see over there and then from jenny's rc we've got three things we got a set of, a brand new set of a arms because we had the original a arms from the 10th anniversary edition uh, we bought a brand new set of uh, backflip tires from Jenny's RC. And then, of course, we got a notorious body because my wife likes that old-fashioned style body. So we got a replacement for that. Uh, which that was about $122.55 to buy the, all those parts from Jenny's RC. Then we went to Basher Queen. And with Basher Queen, we picked up four different things, which you'll see on the bottom of the list. We'll cover M2C up here later. But we picked up the ESC adapter plate. We picked up uh, the carbon fiber center brace. We got the carbon fiber steering kit. And we also got the carbon fiber slash aluminum uh, servo mount. Uh, so with that, we ended up spending about $129.81 uh, from uh, Basher Queen through eBay. And then we went to the bulk of this project, which was M2C racing parts. So we spent about $646.52 buying that modified beefcake kit that we, we talked about. But we picked up, of course, the chassis. We picked uh, front and rear center braces. We picked up uh, the rear tower brace, the one that uh, goes onto the back. It's that new uh, tower brace that M2C Racing has. We also picked up uh, the rear hinge pin kit. And we picked up um, the front hinge pin kit now the only thing is is we had to also get a uh the exp style a block for my wife's and then we did get that mounted so you guys can see right here we already have the new exp bumper i didn't show it on this uh in this video because i already kind of covered the install of that bumper uh with that's sliding off on me there um on the uh the guy that's sitting over here on the uh, crate and xl but we got that. We got uh, the input shaft cups, which we got uh, two sets of those. And it's not a set. It's actually two of them. And those go on the, uh, the inputs to the front and rear differential. Those, we got those. And then, of course, we got uh, the differential outdrives. We got three sets of those. And those are the outdrives on both the front, rear, and center differentials. And then we also got a set of droop screws. And we also got... Um, you know, the A block is on there. So we got all of that and that ran about $646.52, like I said before. So total build on this project, because we started with an outcast already, um, was $909.06. Uh, 
and that's what brought it to this bad boy today. So there's your breakdown on what it cost to build this. Uh, this project's been in planning for a while now, and it took us this long to get everything that we needed uh, to get this bad boy built, and we did it. And that's what we're doing with all of these. All of these projects took some planning on ours, and we get them all thrown together. And I just wanted to throw everything at you guys all at once like this and uh, get everything ready because it's our bash season. And uh, you know, here in Arizona, because we run opposite of everybody else, when it's hot out, we're indoors crawling. When it's cold out, we're out bashing. We live in Arizona. So I hope that uh, answers all your guys' questions on, you know, what it costs to build uh, this kit. Now, if you want, you can add in the cost of buying the Outcast outright. Um, or you can do what we talked about in the... Uh, uh, the Armitalon build, which is sitting here behind me on that and buying those individual parts from Jenny's RC in, in those uh, takeoff parts and go that route. Now, there's other places that have takeoff parts like Bashit uh, RC. They have some takeoff parts that you can purchase there. They don't have big kits like it would be to buy the whole plastic kit like you would from Jenny's RC or you're buying... Uh, the differential with the housing and all of that stuff, they have all of that stuff broke down uh, individually when you go buy from them. And I'm sure there's a couple other places you can go to get some of those takeoff parts. But needless to say, this is what, uh, what it costs to get this bad boy built. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and bash that bell. I'm Stitch, SK Hobbies AZ, and I'm out.